Good morning and happy Tuesday, teachers. I hope that you've had a great week going already. I know that we're just at the beginning, but I'm really excited to spend Tuesday with you talking about God likes you. God likes you, not just unconditionally loves you and thinks that you are a, a piece of his universal creation, but intimately and specifically you. He likes you, yes. This means you don't have to be any other teacher. We can celebrate all teachers and all of your unique, great features about who you are and your teaching skills, but you as a person, you as a teacher, God likes. He likes you just the way you are. This is important because so often as we in our professions look around, even though we don't want to, we tend to compare ourselves. Oh man, I wish I was like that person. Oh, that teacher is great communicator. Oh, that teacher is creative. Oh, everyone listens to that teacher stuff. And when we do that, we begin to put ourselves down. It's a part of our sinful nature theology as Christians. But remember in the book of Genesis that when God created us, he created us in his image. You were fearfully and wonderfully made. In the book of Ephesians, it says, don't you know that you are God's masterpiece? Just the way you are, who you are, matters to God. He likes you. So today I want you to practice liking yourself and stop looking at your flaws and putting yourself down. I know that it's easy sometimes to check out everyone else's grass, but your grass is fine. We easily get caught up staring at other teachers, especially those individuals who seem to be charismatic, have their life together, everything seems great and perfect. And because we do that, it diminishes our self perspective. But you don't have to be that person, or that person, or any other person. You can just be you. Your fantastic gifts and unique personality makes you exactly what God needs you to be. Very familiar story to all of us is David, and as he comes over to Saul to prepare to face Goliath, Saul wants him to dress up in his armor, because that's how Saul knew how to fight this battle. That was the way by which Saul worked. And so Saul believed that if he could just press on David, Saul's armor, that somehow that will protect David. But David couldn't fight in Saul's armor because David didn't practice in Saul's armor. David practiced in his own gear, in his own experiences, and that's how God was blessing him. Too often, we look at the shiny armor that everyone else is wearing, and we begin to put down our little sling. We begin to look down on the way that we are armored for the battle. God has armored you for the battle just the way that you are. You are beautiful and wonderfully made, and God has plans for your life. But you got to stop looking at everybody else. You got to stop worrying about that person's armor. Oh man, that's really nice. How come I'm not? Oh, I, why? Lord, why not me? We've got to be able to start appreciating us the way that God made us to work and to engage in this world. Take time to care for yourself, especially during these days when you had to teach from a distance, you had to teach some in live, you've done the hybrid. It can be overwhelming. And if you don't slow down to love yourself, to care for yourself, to recognize that God likes you as yourself. In the book of John, Jesus says this, this is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. He says this because I believe we have a difficult time loving ourselves. And so Jesus had to give them the right model. He said, look, do you see the way that I love you? Do you see the way that I'm sacrificing my life for you? Do you see the way that I walk with you and care for you? Yeah, that's because you're awesome and I really do love you. I like you, you're, you're great. This is on the heels of Jesus doing all the work he did with these disciples, including calling Peter Satan. I mean, Listen, if you're not in the group by which Jesus has called you Satan, you're doing pretty good. And even still, at the end of all this, Jesus turns to his disciples and says, love each other the same way that I've cared for you. Because when you look at God and the way God likes you, it begins to spill into the rest of your life. Yeah, you're not perfect. Neither am I. No one is. Secret here is 
not to compare yourself to anyone else's imperfection levels. They might be up here compared to you. They might be down here compared to you. But as long as you're comparing, you're never going to be able to really just focus in on you. You've got all the gifts and skills that you need to make a difference. So go out today and make a difference in your own armor because that's how God created you. Spend some time this morning before you go into your class appreciating yourself. Share it out loud. If you're with another teacher, share it with them. Something that you like about yourself. If you're with another teacher, share with them and share with each other what you like about them. Before you go out, make sure you say a word of prayer. And remember, give yourself a lot of grace. You've been doing a lot of things. Forgive yourself. Be open to change. Don't worry about how you did yesterday. Today is your day because God likes you. We'll see you tomorrow.